What's up guys, my name is Idan and welcome to How Much YouTube channel. With me is the Jazz Miner. It's one of the most powerful miners I've ever had in this YouTube channel. It's actually capable of mining 520 mega hashes of Ethereum or Ether. We're gonna test it out today, see how much money we can make and how much power it consumes. And also how to set it up. We're gonna use the watt meter to calculate how much power it consumes and how much it costs to run 24 7. This miner is for a server rack. You can kind of see that from the handles right here. So you can put it in a server rack and imagine having 20 or 30 of those. Pretty cool. To operate this miner, you're going to need two things a 220 volt power coming in and an ethernet cable for ethernet connection. Now, your house have 110 volts, so it's not gonna work in regular household outlet. You're gonna need a 220 volt, either ask electrician to install one, or you can have a, a step up voltage, but it's not recommended to do that. I think it's the best to have a dedicated 220 volt for miners like this. Now I'm gonna plug it into the watt meter to see how much power we're consuming and connect it to the ethernet. Let's go and set it up. We are using a step up transformer to get a 220 volt and now I'm gonna plug in the miner let's go and we're gonna calculate how much power we're consuming using the watt meter right here now I'm gonna plug in the 220 volt in oh it's turning on already and I'm gonna plug in Ethernet that's all we need that's it so we plug in the power cable we plug in the Ethernet cable we're ready to go now let's set up the miner First, let's find the IP address for the miner using advanced port scanner. It will look for all the IP addresses for all the devices in the network. And you can see here, Jazz Miner, I found it. So let's log in. All right, we found the miner. Now we need to change the mining settings so it will mine to my pool, okay? To do so, we're simply gonna go to miner and change the pool information. Now, I tried NiceHash. Unfortunately, it doesn't work with NiceHash, but it does work on ethermine.org. How do we connect it? We're simply gonna copy paste the URL address with the port, which is 4444, and place it right here. So you see, I already put it. Now the address, the worker address, is basically your Ethereum address. So you're gonna put that in there and this is gonna be your payout address. I had to wait over 30 minutes before it start mining. So it does take a long time to show up. But once I waited, we are getting over 500 mega ashes on Ethereum, which is incredible. It's kind of like having five 3090s running at the same time. Pretty impressive. Let's check out the pool and see if those numbers here matches what the pool shows. I have been mining on ethermine.org for a day now. As you can totally see, it's working. We are making already 0.00811 Ethereum. At this time, it's about 30, 40 bucks. So it's definitely working and showing up correctly. I even managed to lower my payout threshold to 0.05 Ethereum. So I'll get paid more often by putting my IP address right here. So it knows it's mines for me. Now we know that it is connected directly to the Ethereum mining right here with the same IP address which is a good sign. Now, let's see how much money 520 mega hashes can make you per day and per month. So right now, 520 mega hashes can make you $37 a day or about $1,110 per month running. You can probably hear it. It's pretty damn loud though. So be ready for that. The fans are small on this. So running it at your home, maybe not so much. And it needs 220 volts. So you need a server room of some sort to run this just because of the noise. Now, the manufacturer told me I can actually change the frequency and get even more hashing power with about the same performance of the power. So let's give that a try. I'm gonna change the frequency now from 200 megahertz on the chip to 225. That's about 10% up for the original settings. So I'm gonna update it. We're gonna wait 30 minutes and see the result. But you know what? While we wait, let's talk about proof of work and proof of stake. As you know, Ethereum is gonna change to Ethereum 2.0 which means that mining is not going to be necessary and it's going to be proof of stake, which means people who own Ethereum are going to be rewarded, unlike miners that will get rewarded. But this miner actually supports Ethereum Classic as well. So even if Ethereum 2.0 is showing up, you'll be still be able to mine regular Ethereum. And we can actually calculate how much money we're going to make with Ethereum Classic when that's gonna show up. So we're gonna go to um, ETC or Ethereum Classic and 530 mega hashes will make us about 600 bucks a month. 
So you see it's a little bit more than half is what you're gonna get after a new Ethereum uh, shows up, uh, proof of stake Ethereum. So you're still gonna make money, which is kind of cool, but it kind of shows you maybe why those miners go for a cheaper price and they have more available and why we're getting efficient ones now. So let's wait for it to show up. Let's see how much hash rate we can get now with the new 225 megahertz settings and how much money we make. Maybe we can make more. We're also gonna take a look at the power consumption again to see if the difference is worth it. All right, so let's wait and see what happens. Okay, so we changed the clock speeds to 225 megahertz. Now we are getting over 650 mega hash. We checked the power consumption, it's the same. So it doesn't consume any more power. Now we're going back to our calculator and we're putting 680 mega hashes and we are making $47 a day or $17,000 a year. And it only costs us about 30, 40 bucks a month to run for electricity. It is very loud still. So that's awesome. Those numbers are one of the best we ever seen. This is definitely the most efficient miner we ever had in the store and on YouTube. But Jazz Miner is a new company. We don't know them now yet. And we didn't test this miner long enough to know if those numbers are legit, if the miner will work in the long run and there's nothing else weird about it. So I'm gonna wait on this before I start selling it. I'm gonna test it out, give it some time to learn more about the company and to learn more about this miner before we start selling it. It's possible that because Ethereum moves from proof of work to proof of stake, that now they're unloading all those amazing silicon chips that have amazing efficiency that gets you those kind of results. That's one of our theories is why now they're available for sale. They've had it for a long time probably, they're just running it for themselves, but now they wanna unload it. But when Ethereum goes to proof of stake, you can still mine Ethereum Classic with today's numbers and you can make about $10,000 a year. So you can still make your money pretty quick. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to How Much YouTube channel and leave a like if you like this video. Comment below if you ever heard about Jazz Miner. I would like to know more about it as much as possible. And if you're interested in getting one, it will be available eventually on bitcoinmerch.com once we do all the tests. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.